Hi everyone, welcome back to the Book Brood, and today we're going to do a tag for you because Yay. we were tagged in the You're Not Good Enough book tag by Sue and Megan in the Restricted section. Uh, this one's 15 questions and it's where you write uh, characters and put them in a bowl and you choose between characters for the questions. Yep. Yeah. And this was hilarious, the Restricted section. They did an amazing job. Yeah, and you need to check out their video. We'll link definitely. their video down below, as well as the original creator of the tag. Read like wildfire. Okay. All right, so question number one. Yep. You only have one spot left on your spelling bee team. Who would you pick to be on your team? Okay. All right. I have a Jamie Lannister of Game of Thrones. Ooh. I have Peter from Ender's Game. Oh. I'm going to say Peter. I think I would say Peter, too, because he's kind of like an intelligent tosser, so... Uh-huh. You know. And even though so, Jamie is from noble birth, I don't think his tutors were that hard on him. Oh, well, did you not make it to the part where uh, Tywin had to sit him down personally and, like, beat him to get him to learn to read? Oh, I don't know if I made it. Oh, yeah. There. That sounds like some good father-son bonding time. It honestly sounds a lot about how I learned to read initially. Because, <laughs> no, my my dad's a great guy, but uh, seriously, I fought it, it a tough. lot as a child. It's, it's kind of incredible. Oh, man. All right, both characters want to kill you. Which one would you kill first so that you'd have a better chance of surviving? I don't know how we can top the T-Rex situation. Right. T-Rex and Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, yeah. Oh. I have Denna oh. from the Name of the Wind series. Well, this gets better because I have Damien, son of Batman. <laughs> uh. um, so who would I kill first to better be able to survive? I feel like I should kill Damien because Denna would be super easy to kill, but I hate Denna so much, so I don't know. I'm torn on this one. Well, I'm in the same boat with you. Of <laughs> I hate one of these characters so much, but I hate Damien Wayne <laughs> so much that I would kill him first. Right. All right. Next question is, you're on The Bachelor and you're down to two characters. Which one are you going to give the rose to? Mm. Do you have to get married if you give them a rose? I don't know about that because I feel like I you're you're allowed to like change your mind like after the show's over or are something you? like that. There's no or, contract saying yeah, you have to like. I, I don't know. I just remember there was a big kerfuffle about all of that. So. Mm. so. Oh, I have Sergeant <gasps> Farrell from All You Need Is Kill. I have Tobias Eaton, um, a.k.a. Four, from oh. Detergent, or oh. Divergent, <laughs> so. <laughs> she, she gave it her pet name there. <laughs> I really enjoy the fact that it's Bill Paxton. Uh, right, this is, this is actually Sergeant Farrell from the movie right. Edge of Tomorrow, <laughs> because that was actually a better character than the Sergeant Farrell from the, the novel, All You Need Is Kill. Bill Paxton so, totally killed it. Killed it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Sergeant Farrell, because he's totally a take-charge man. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, and he's tough as nails, and... Tobias is, yeah, kind of tough. Tobias can catch a train. Kind of, okay. he's, he's, he's kind of... A little too sensitive, and I don't know if I could. He has a he has a rough past. I don't He's know if I don't things. know if my shoulder has enough room for the tears. <laughs> uh, Tobias, all the way. I'm all day every day. <laughs> all right, all right. You've been chosen for the Hunger Games. Who would you most likely volunteer in your place? Wouldn't it be funny if we actually pulled Hunger Games characters out? Right. Yes, <laughs> there are a couple Hunger Games characters in here. Oh, I got Master Aloden from The Name of the Ooh, Wind. Oh, nice. I got Maggie from Old Man's War. Oh. What was the question again? Who was going to, oh. Who's going to take your place? Yeah, Maggie. And that, oh, no, no, Aloden. Aloden would never volunteer. Well, this is my choice. No, <laughs> it's his choice. <laughs> no, no. He it's... would never volunteer to die for you. I'm the one playing this game, oh. so. <laughs> I feel like Maggie is so sweet. 
She would definitely volunteer to take someone else's place. She, she would, but spoilers, she died early enough in that story. She died too early in that story. That so, is true. question five: You're stranded on an island. Which character would you sacrifice to engage in cannibalism? Who are we going to eat? Here's Hunger Games. I got <gasps> Primrose Everdeen. <laughs> oh, I got Ender. Oh. Ender Wigan. Ender and Prim, two children. Hmm. Which child are we I'm going gonna to I'm going to let you eat? go first on this one. Of course, Ender. Like, uh, And I'm going to be totally sexist here. It's only because he's a boy, and I think he <laughs> would take it with a little more... A little more. He would be very stoic bravado. about. It. He, he yeah. would be very stoic about it. Yeah. All right. I'd eat Ender too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Question number six. You are the next DC Marvel character, or DC or Marvel superhero, with your own TV show, of course. Who is your sidekick? Oh. Did you get Triss? I did get. Someone I did get, get Triss. Tris. Did you really? I did, yeah. Nice. Divergent 100%, because uh, I know that was part of the book. <laughs> I got Dudley from Harry Potter. Oh. So I feel like Triss would be a total badass sidekick. Uh, I would take Dudley what? as a sidekick, because he could totally get dirty when you would want to keep your hands clean. So. That is true. <laughs> he would not feel bad about beating up some punk kids. That's right, yeah. Yeah. He'll beat the information out of him. Okay, next question. You're a manager of an avocado admiring company. Who would you fire for a lack of communication skills? Hmm. Better admire those avocados. That's right, yeah. I got the wife from The Handmaid's <gasps> Tale. <laughs> I got John from Old Man's War. Oh. Who has the least communication skills i'm gonna say the wife i'm gonna say the wife too not so much because she didn't want to say what's on her mind but she's more a that conniving she just, bitch more that she just couldn't she had to just do what society asked of her even though she was in a place of power she yeah. still she still had to had to yeah. sit there through it all and hold the hands you know i guess she was a little bit of a victim she was also a bitch i'm not saying she wasn't <laughs> Okay. You've just finished a book in which your favorite character dies. Which character is most likely to comfort you? Mm. I'm glad you're not getting Denim for this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got Frank Gilbreth from Ooh. Cheaper by the Dozen. I got Oliver Wood. And I like your little... <laughs> your little... <laughs> <laughs> Your little note there. Yes, my little footnote in there. Yeah. Yes. I, I feel like neither. Right. I, I'd go with Frank so that I could leave Oliver to you because I know how much he means to you. And yeah. Oliver is obsessed with one thing, Quidditch. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't have anything to do with Quidditch, he's, he's not into it. Maybe you could dress up as a broom and... <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd pay attention to me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Thank you for that, darling. Uh -huh, absolutely. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, it's high school. Who would be most likely part of the popular clique? Mm. Were you uh, popular? Oh, I was totally the head of the popular clique <laughs> in high school. Yeah. I can see it. Ooh. I got Anita Blake from Guilty Pleasures. I got Black Canary. Mm. I feel like Black Canary would be... Black Canary would totally be head of the... Popular kids, yeah. Yeah. Anita would be the weird kid in the back of the class. When anyone tried to pick on her, she would punch him in the face. She'd be like the shy hot girl that like doesn't know she's hot because that's mm. totally how her character's written. The day has arrived. You're finally a year older. Who would have the nerve to forget your birthday? Oh, my God. Mm. Offred from The Handmaid's Tale. offred has got some serious shit on her mind. She, is she not does have a lot going she's on. She's not going to she, remember your birthday. She's probably not, not even allowed to know what day it is. So. That's probably true. I got Nicole from Rama. 
And I feel like Nicole would totally remember your birthday. Oh, she'd be on top of that. She has her medical records. So. That's true. Yeah. You just found an upcoming booktube star. Who would it most likely be? I got Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones. I got Sola. From a Princess of Mars. From a Princess of Mars. I knew I was going to do that. Be like, Hesitated on that? Yeah. Yeah. I think Hmm. Sola would be very reserved. She would, but she has four arms. She wouldn't really care about That's true. She might chop some people up and stab some people on book two. But she probably wouldn't record it. Probably not, because I don't think they had cameras back then, so... So Sola, then? <laughs> Sola. I'm going to go with Sola. Sola. All right. Sleepover time. Unfortunately, you can only invite one person. Who would it be? I'm going to second what the restricted section says, and that's, <laughs> that's really lame that's, sleepover. <laughs> that's not a sleepover. No, that's not a sleepover. <laughs> oh, you're going to be jealous on this one. I got... Hey Mitch, hey Mitch from the Hunger Games. I got Peter from Divergent. Oh. I would not want to sleep over with Peter. Yeah. He will stab you in the eye with a butter knife. That's true. No, he and will. you can get right. And you can get totally smashed. You with, can get wasted with, with hey Mitch. Mitch. Alright. Bam, you're pregnant. Bam. Who's the father? Mother. Edward from Guilty Pleasures. Oh, totally Edward. I got mm-hmm. Larrington Wentzworth the Third from oh. <laughs> from uh, Fairyland. Uh, I hate Fairyland, which is the little sidekick, like little. What is he like? He's a, like a fly. Yeah, it's kind of a play off Jimmy Cricket, though. I feel uh-huh. like. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! I hope Larrington is not the father of my baby. <laughs> I don't really want Edward to be the father of my baby either, because he. Why? Because he's a badass sociopath serial killer. Right. He'd probably kill the baby. He'd eat the baby. <gasps> because... No. I feel like my baby would have a better chance of survival, even having to deal with the sociopath dad. But if it was born half fly, right, it probably wouldn't survive very long. But is it living in fairyland? Because it seems like. Oh. Things get uh, off the hook a lot in Fairyland. That's true. I don't know. All right. You've just written a super important text. Who would see it but not reply? Oh, man. I got Rita Vertasky from yeah. All You Need Is Kill, she the full not. metal bitch. Oh, oh, oh. But I got Ari from Slow Regard of the Silent Ooh, Things. That one's a toss-up. Who got Ari's she's, number? She's too loopy. Yeah. Even if you had her number, and she'd you be talking her, with candles and exactly. And Rita's too busy killing mimics to to do anything else. Too busy being a bamf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh man. Well, okay. So I think Ari would eventually get back to you, like every seven to ten days. Yes. But yes. Rita would just ignore you completely. Probably, because she might be living the same day over and over again. That's very true. That's very, very true. All right, and number 15, you just woke up and it's time for breakfast. Your mom has been replaced by who? (gasps) Did you put a T-Rex in here? I didn't know. (laughs) Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, man. I got Francesca from Rama. Oh, snap. I got Queen Claudia <laughs> from I Hate Fairyland. I'm going to go with Queen Claudia. I would rather. I feel, I feel like she could make a better breakfast than Francesca. I feel like yeah. Francesca would poison your breakfast. All right. So that was fun. There is our You're Not Good Enough tag. And we are actually going to tag some people. Yep. We're going to tag Mugs and Pugs. Yep. Uh, a very quick reader. A to you. Mm-hmm. And Ashley reads it absolutely and we will link them all below i hope that anyone we didn't tag who wants to do this tag still does it consider yourself tagged because this was a lot of fun and thank you guys for watching and we'll see See you you next next time. time